A money Monday and today no matter what you think it is a global economy isn't it and oh, everything so. that happens whether it's the the earthquake or, the, or 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 what's going on in Libya it has a domino effect and all the way back to your pocketbook that's eventually. right scary times it's time for Kevin seven Kevin Myroff everybody round of applause Thank you. Golf clap. All right, let's uh, let's go with the seven things that we really should be worrying about whenever it comes to everything that's going on here. The first one: educate and read from reliable news sources on a daily basis. Yeah, you know, one of the ways to make that uncertainty go away is to really understand. I mean, I bet if I went out and asked anybody, you know, what countries border Libya, nobody have a clue. So you got to know where Libya is, what borders it, how close to Europe is it, and then keep up from reliable sources. Don't pick up the bad sources, but reliable sources yeah. like right here on Channel 3 News exactly. to learn about what's going on. Don't, don't do the internet thing. Uh, number two, review your goals and objectives. Yeah, I mean, when things get uncertain, you want to go back to what your goals and objectives are. What are you trying to achieve? If in your portfolio you're trying to earn a 6 or 7% rate of return, then go look at your portfolio and make sure that's happening. Okay. Uh, number three, is your portfolio allocation proper? That kind of harkens back to number two, doesn't it? A little bit yeah, yeah, that's correct. So if you've got to earn six, six or seven percent, then you shouldn't be 100 percent in equities right now. You don't have right. to take that risk. So you may have gotten, you know, the market's doubled in the last two years. So maybe you've got an extra aggressive and you need to back off a little bit. Evaluate opportunities. I saw a graphic recently that said that raw materials prices are starting to go up because they know Japan is going to have to rebuild. Right, and raw material prices were already starting to go up. Warren yeah. Buffett came out this morning and he said he thinks this is creating unbelievable buying opportunities in Japan. Mm. So you have your portfolio, you have to look at the big picture, but look for little pockets of opportunities. Number five, evaluate getting out of the way. You know, for, for some people, they just can't handle the volatility and the risk up and down. So maybe it makes sense for them to step aside, get out of the way to things quiet down a little bit. But the risk there is during these periods of uncertainty, markets could fly up and you can miss a lot. Okay, we're going back to the portfolio again. Look at it, reallocate the portfolio. Yeah, I mean, once you look at it for your goals and objectives, you may have to switch things around. And don't be afraid. And don't worry about if things have gone up or you think equities are going to do better than bonds. If you have too much in stocks, get out and put some back into bonds or cash. Gotcha. And number seven, avoid greed and fear. You know, th those are the ones that kill you, G greed and fear. If you get too greedy, you're going to get killed. And if you get too fearful, you're going to miss out on a whole lot. So try to get those away, get emotion out, get educated, and move forward. Money at WKYC.com. That's the simple way to get a hold of Kevin if you have some questions or whatever. Kevin, thanks a lot. Appreciate it, my friend. My pleasure. There you go. It is a Money Monday. And